What is up everyone, this is Trine and I hope you guys are doing amazing. This game is relatively new so here are my 7 tips to rank high in all of the games you play. Alright, tip number 1 is none other than strafe when you are engaging an opponent. This is a well known tactic in many multiplayer shooter games but it does apply to Omega Legends as well. Whenever you are shooting, do not just stand in one place, meaning just don't be idle. So, you guys have to move from side to side when shooting, which can possibly reduce the amount of damage you take while you are engaging an opponent. This will not always work, but the idea is to reduce your incoming damage while you insert more damage onto your enemies, which will increase your likelihood of winning a firefight. You can try different combinations like moving to the right and crouching and then jumping to the left, but I would just recommend moving side to side in your normal stance when you're engaging someone in close range. You can perform strafing even while crouched, which will increase your accuracy as well. Tip 2 is zooming in when you're engaging those medium or even long range engagements. Now, there is no ADS in this game, so there's only a third person zoom, but that zoom really impacts your accuracy, making your shots very accurate. On the downside, it does make your movement very slow, but you won't be zooming all the time because only when you zoom in, you have an increase in the accuracy and then higher chance to pull off headshots, which in turn means quicker kill time, which is absolutely amazing. Now, moving on to the third tip is to always find cover even Bounce when you're not shooting because this game is a battle royale, meaning an enemy can shoot you from anywhere and at any time. So you guys have to be always prepared. Do not run out in the open because you will be the first and easy target for snipers. Make sure when traversing between areas to find some place where you can take cover if you are low on health or get ambushed. Having that cover might give you enough time to recover and get back at the opponent. The same goes for when you are in a firefight. Always have a fallback area where you have enough cover to heal up or revive a teammate. Tip number 4 is to having a balanced loadout. What I mean by that is that you have 5 slots in the Mega Legends to equip either weapons or grenades. You should have a weapon for each range and to start off, an assault rifle, SMG and a sniper should be your base loadout because you can cover all ranges. As for your 4th slot, it could be any choice of weapon as a backup or a grenade. Your final slot should be filled with a grenade of your choice. For example, your general grenades can flush out enemies in an engagement. Smoke grenades are very useful for providing distractions, cover to revive down teammates or using it as a cover to travel open areas. Mines to defend an area and there are also flashbangs. It is completely your choice but having one slot for just grenades will definitely help you out in those final circles. Number 5 tip might seem small but it does make a difference and that is pinging enemies. I know that currently every random you will play with are from Brazil or nearby countries where English might not be the first language of communication but pinging enemies does not require the knowledge of English. So when you pinch enemies, at least your teammates will know that you have found enemies and you will engage them or just alerting your teammates that there are nearby enemies at the location. This is also important when you are even playing with voice chat as the pinching will directly tell your teammates where the enemies are Bouncer along Bray. with more details that will be given by your teammates or yourself via voice chat. Now, tip number 6 is a difficult one and obvious one. but. Play as teams, even with randoms. This game is a team-oriented battle royale, so you should try to stick with your team till the end as you guys will have a higher chance of winning the game. I know there are some people who will try to solo, but try to stick with at least one person because you and the others playing in the end have only one objective, and that is to win or get in the top 5. Now, the final tip is to loot carefully. Don't always rush in to loot someone who just died, as there might be a sniper or a camper waiting for you to loot, so give it some time before you loot someone's crate. Moreover, do not stand still 
when looting. Perform small movements to evade any snipers that are waiting to shoot you. And do not take too long to loot as you might be a sitting duck. So loot quick and at the same time smart for success. That's all for this video guys. Hope these tips will help you get those wins or top placements. Drop down any other tips you might have in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you like my content. And until next time guys.